With the veto break now over, lawmakers have just two days left in the session, Friday and Monday, which makes this a pivotal time. There's been a lot of news over the break with things that the governor has vetoed, things that he hasn't vetoed, so I'm excited to get back to Frankfurt. A top priority for Louisville Republican Jared Bauman is a vote to override the veto of House Bill 5, the wide-ranging crime bill known as the Safer Kentucky Act. I, I don't see any major issues, uh, but I'm certainly not going to take anything for granted. going to continue to work hard to make sure that we have the votes to override the veto. Governor Andy Bashir has signed 144 bills and vetoed 27. Among those vetoes was House Resolution 81 which would set up a JCPS task force, some worry will lead to the breakup of the district. And there was a line item veto of spending limits on emergency responses to natural disasters, such as tornadoes and floods. $25 million total. Uh, we go through that every year. So this, again, is setting us up to fail. Also on Thursday, Louisville Democrat David Yates announced he'll file a discharge petition asking for a vote on Senate Bill 99. The bill provides rape and incest exceptions to Kentucky's abortion ban. I understand that this is a really hard vote for a lot of people. I'm not trying to embarrass people. I just think this is important enough that we're elected here to make the hard votes. It's named Hadley's Law after a woman who became pregnant at age 12 when she was raped by her stepfather. It took me a long time to find my voice. Now that I have it, I'm using it to speak out for women and girls and to call on the legislator to bring this to the floor. How could you choose to not hear out the bill, but you won't give us our choice? One of many battles sure to play out over the next couple days. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.